Hello everyone, I'm Nate and welcome to my channel. Today on the channel, we're gonna talk about these pouches again. Uh, I have talked about these a number of times and the REs, the Ranger Eyes on here and how I'm kind of addicted to that. And uh, so today we're actually gonna talk about how to pack a pouch, right? So, well, of course this is subjective, right? Everyone's pouch is gonna be a little bit different. Everyone's everyday carry is a little different, right? Depend on your needs and pen depends on your environment and all that. So this is how I pack my pouch and this is my suggestion, especially for those maybe that uh, wanna kind of pack a pouch that has a lot of fun factor and utility, okay? So skill toys and functionality, okay? So we're gonna talk about that. All right, so first off, we're gonna start on the outside uh, before we open this up. So this is the garage built. Uh, these are the most sought after probably pouches in the uh, pouch world, the everyday carry pouch world. Uh, very uh, challenging to get on a drop. Uh, I actually bought this one secondhand at a pretty decent price. Um, so I've tried to get on the drops a number of times and I've always missed out. Uh, there are a number of really, really good, I've on, I'm on one particular one, uh, Facebook group that is an uh, EDC uh, buy sell trade group and that's where I bought this there are like I think there's like 11,000 or something like that and it's constantly growing so there's I sell things on there too especially Ranger Eyes duplicates that I have and that's why I've sourced some of these as well all right so on the outside here um, these uh, REs here are actually all from data crew uh, I, I really I'm a big fan of theirs I have a number of uh, different you know, makers as far as REs, uh, quite a few. But uh, these, this is one company I've really, really liked. And so big shout out to them. Uh, I have on here both uh, Doctor Strange themed ones and Star Wars themed ones. These are some of the most recent ones. Uh, so really nice. If you're looking for some really good Ranger Eyes, so if you've watched my last video and you're like, where should I get, where should I start, right? Where should I go? Uh, I would definitely check them out. You can get on their mailing list as well and get a couple days in. Normally they drop on Fridays and you can get an early access through the email on Wednesdays. So uh, I've never had a problem not getting um, a patch that I've I've sought after. So anyways, let's continue talking about on the outside here. I have a, um, this is a Pac-Man uh, bead here, it does glow. This bead's actually gonna be relocating here pretty soon to another pouch, but uh, for now it's on this one. Up here we have a, a pocket as well, kind of just like a, just a simple you know pocket. I don't normally put too much bulk in there. Uh, I actually, normally I might put maybe an ID in there or maybe some loose cash, you know, a couple bills or something. Uh, but I actually have in here right now a picture of my children. Uh, this is a, uh, a Polaroid, so I have that in there as well. Uh, and then on the back, we have a zipper pocket. Uh, I have two things in here currently. One, since I am a yo-yo player, I have a string cutter. So I just so that I always have that on me. So that's nice. Um, normally, I just use that for string, but you could use that, of course, for other things as well. It's a letter opener, <laughs> okay? Uh, and then I also have uh, a, a round square uh, titanium uh, dead eye here. So. Uh, that's that I keep in the back and stays in there whenever I need it. It has pretty easy access. And I, what I like about the garage bill as well, the, the zippers on here are really chunky, They're really nice, nice zippers. All right, opening this bad boy up, let's kind of walk through. First off, between the layers here, I always carry a hank. And I really, really like these uh, Frankie hankies, all right, Frankie. Frankie Hanks. Uh, I'll have a link in the description, by the way, to all the things that I have in here. Uh, he has an Etsy store. What I love about this one, and I would recommend if you get a Hank, which by the way, uh, it's something that some of you might have a misnomer with. Like I don't blow my nose with this. Like I would never do that. Uh, this I use for the other side usually. And this is a microfiber cloth, right? So one for camera lenses, cleaning lenses, glasses, which I wear about 50% of the time, phones, all it, I mean, it comes in handy. Uh, it's really nice to have that. And I like this one fold, small one. It's a perfect size to fit right in there. Just one fold, dude that squirrel needs to calm down anyways i like that i put that in the between there not only does it fit in there well but it also kind of helps the metals not clash back and forth between like a knife and and my pen and all that we're gonna go and start on this side here first off i have a little pry bar i got this off of an etsy dealer as well uh it, you'd be surprised how often you use this little i actually use this for a screwdriver often for like uh my plate for my tripod things like that and so that comes in handy i threw a little just a little piece of paracord on there so I can grab it easily. And then moving on, we have some chapstick. 
I actually make this chapstick, so it's it's really nice uh, just to have it on me. I always have chapstick on me. It's nice to have it in the pouch. And so then I also have another, I have an enamel pin here from Data Crew as well, that uh, comic one, that's pretty sweet. All right, moving on here, uh, this is a little mini flashlight. There's a number of companies that make little flashlights th like this. This one's from Nightcore. I really like this one. First off, it's rechargeable. I wish that it was USB type C uh, and I'm not sure of their entire line. Maybe they actually do have one that is USB-C, but this is micro USB, uh, but it is rechargeable. That's really nice. It keeps a pretty long charge. And I have on here uh, another lanyard bead and this whole thing glows as well. So this one's nice. I won't go into detail here, but again, check out the description uh, for this little, it's like a really cheap, I think I got it on Amazon for like 20 bucks. You get it on their website as well, but I like this one a lot and fits perfect in the pouch. Moving on here to uh, an everyday carry pen. I actually have a review on this completely, so I won't go into detail here, but Tactile Turn, if you are looking for a solid pen, an everyday carry, a lifetime pen, definitely check them out. Okay, on the left side here, I also have a uh, USB reader. This is for my iPad, and so I mostly edit actually these videos as well on an iPad, so, um, so there you go. So that's there on the left side. So I pack these pretty full. On the right side here, uh, first off in the front pocket, I have a K-Bone from uh, Aaron Barrels. I love, I love his work. If you've not checked him out, I've reviewed a number of things from him as well. And uh, then I have the Sigmas here, but I always carry at least one Beglery in the pouch. So I've actually slipped them in all this one side here. They fit really nice together there. And then a knife here, this is from Tactile Knife Company, uh, a sister company of Tactile Turn. When it comes to knives, first off, you're not always gonna be able to carry one. Like I, I work at a school, so I don't have this in here all the time, uh, but uh, I do carry it whenever I can. I'll throw it in my bag or what have you. Uh, so you're looking for a knife that ideally is small, shorter rather. So this is just about the right length. Um, any longer, it wouldn't probably fit in the pouch. So you're not wanting a, a large knife. Uh, there's plenty of micro knives out there too that will even fit even better. So if you wanna fit more, but I love the thin profile of this guy. All right, so if you're wanting a good slip joint knife, um, that's gonna just, again, Tactile makes stuff that lasts a lifetime. So if you wanna check them out, I would definitely recommend them. They have a number of knives, but this one in particular of theirs fits really, really well in, in a pouch like this. Okay, and then moving on, I think this is the last thing here, yeah. Uh, I have in the back section here, so right back here, uh, in this part here, I put it in there is some MK Ultra. So these are titanium ones as well. So just kind of, again, fun factor, utility factor, everything in between. I pack this thing full. All right, so there is what I pack. Uh, there are some suggestions, especially for those who might be in the skill toy world, but also in the EDC world. I think these things marry really well together. So I hope you enjoyed that. That's my pouch carry for now. And until the next one, later.